Okay. Uh, Jim, I've got the spelling of your name and all that sort of thing, but if you would, uh, give me your title as far as your work uh, in the community. Well, my work in the community is, uh, I'm Jim Heald. I am the 2013 chairman of the Economic Development Council for Okaloosa County. I, my day job is, is within Dine. I am the general manager for the Eglin Test and Training Complex contract, which runs this Eglin range. I see. Okay. You were the right guy to be on the phone with this morning about the, uh, <laughs> the, the testing. Um, in terms of the transportation infrastructure project, which we've had about a 42-month effort to improve State Road 85 and 123, from an economic development standpoint or from just a community standpoint, what do projects like these mean to people in Oklahoma County? Well, it, it improves the quality of life and, and the quality of place tremendously because the smooth flow of traffic allows you to get from place to place. It allows you to, to decide where you're going to live, where you're going to work, and not be burdened by the traffic that uh, might be caused by having a, a less smooth flow of traffic. The, uh, that allows us to recruit businesses in here. As uh, we've often said, people come to uh, Northwest Florida. They're already excited to come here. The uh, pure white beaches, the, uh, the beautiful weather we have, the wonderful noise, sound of freedom. Exactly. That's right. We can begin again. Sure. Okay. Right. And we're good. In terms of uh, enhancing the economic development climate for a community, what role does improved transportation play? Well, we're blessed here in Northwest Florida because people are already excited to come here. Uh, and, and so having a smooth flow of traffic just enhances that experience to make sure that people can come here and want to stay here. Okay. Um, in terms of the community, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> concerned about you. So we've talked about the economic development opportunities, we've talked about the project. Oh, okay. I know that being a, uh, a government contractor, yes. that you're keenly aware of the role that uh, partnerships play. Right. And this particular project is unique in that it's not only a partnership between FDOT and the community, you've got Northwest Florida Regional Airport, and you've also got Eglin Air Force Base because this project is actually built on Eglin's front door. Here. Right. Talk a little bit about the importance of the partnership in the community and all of us working together to make this a better place. Well, again, Northwest Florida is such a, a tremendous place because the community supports the De Department of Defense and all of our war fighters that are stationed around here. Uh, Eglin and the community ha have a very great synergy, and we try to work together on a daily basis. Improving the flow here for the citizens also improves the traffic flow for all of the military. Uh, as a defense contractor, I'm constantly moving assets throughout this range, taking them from the east side to the west side, from the north side to the south side. We have 724 square miles of range out there, and this type of a project allows us to support the uh, military and enhance the community at the same time. It is a, a, a tremendous uh, uh, partnership between all the, the different areas and uh, the Economic Development Council has advocated for this project for many years. We have a subcommittee called the Defense Support Initiative that works with Tallahassee, that works with the, the uh, Florida Department of Transportation. Uh, we, we talk with uh, Greg Donovan here at the airport and uh, all of us work together to uh, try to enhance the environment that is Okaloosa County and Northwest Florida. Uh, FDOT has a strategic initiative to assist the communities in improving their business client. Governor Scott, as a matter of fact, has gone on record as saying that he wants Florida to be the most defense-friendly state in the United States. How would you grade the Florida Department of Transportation in their efforts in terms of partnering with the local community? Well, this as an example is a great partnership and we're hoping that there will be several other partnerships that are on the books. The north end of 123 Highway 85 to do a flyover at that place to, to uh, remove the traffic lights that are there. 
Of course, we've already got the Air Force putting in an overpass up further north on uh, Highway 85 near Duke Field. Uh, we hope that uh, we'll be able to improve the uh, volume of traffic that can go through on Highway 85 by making it go to six lanes. And of course, there's, there's a lot of other projects that can help out. Uh, it adds to safety in terms of the smooth flow of traffic. It adds to safety in terms of hurricane evacuations or things along those lines lines, but uh, the, the FDOT has been a great partner in, in working on this particular project. That's perfect. My, my bosses would, uh, would not have allowed me to get away without having you say that. So <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to use a pitchfork. But <laughs> Are you good? Did you get I'm what we good. need? I got everything. Oh, okay, we're going to press the record button this time?